Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the third day of my week featuring Lone Phone. Today I'm using the Frosty Fairy Friends stamp set and uh, there are also matching dies. So I'm going to start by stamping uh, some of the uh, adorable uh, images in this stamp set and I'm going uh, to stamp the house, one of the little fairies, as well as her wand. And I'm making this card to send out to a little girl, so you will see what I'm going to do on the inside. I am going to stamp all the images by using my Toxito Black ink, and uh, that's because I am going to use my Copic markers to color everything. I have also stamped the little mushroom and uh, also some designs that work uh, great as the snow and you can stick them later on on top of uh, the house. So I'm going to close the window and stamp everything. And as always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I am using today down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. So I used my Copic uh, markers to color everything, and of course you can use your favorite uh, coloring method. And now I'm using my Nuvo glue pen to add some glue on the snow. And uh, this is where I am going to apply uh, some of my Glimmer Dust by Nuvo. I'm kind of obsessed with this one. It gives an amazing uh, result when you see it up close. And I am going to repeat the same uh, process for the wings so that uh, they are nice and shiny. Time to cut out everything, so I'm going to use the matching dies and I'm going to pass everything through my die cutting machine. So I have uh, everything cut out here, I'm going to pop out all my elements so that I can then go ahead and um, assemble my card. Now since I was uh, on my die cutting machine, I have uh, also cut out three of uh, the little fairies which I'm not going to use on my little scene, but you will see what I'm going to do with them later on. So I'm going to use some masking tape and I'm going to create a little moon. So I'm using uh, this little die. I'm going to pass it through my Sizzix machine so I have a nice uh, round uh, mask. And now I'm going to place on top a smaller die. And this is going to give me a great moon shape. So this is a nice mask which I am going to stick on a piece of uh, paper. I have a small panel already cut out. I am going to stick it at the top and I am going to create my background. So I'm going for a night sky today and uh, I will use my go-to colors for the night sky. But since I have that moon here, I want to have uh, around the moon a nice um, lighter area. So you will see the colors now. And I'm going to start by using a tumble glass around the moon. And then as I move outside of that area, I'm going to darken more and more the background.
So another one of my go-to techniques is to use a little bit of gesso, dilute it with water, and then with a thin brush I'm going to make some splashes. This can be a snow or stars. And you can go crazy with the splashes, the more you add the better. Just make sure that they are not too big. So now I'm ready for the big reveal. I'm going to remove the mask. And the fact that uh, the moon is white and not yellow makes it look even more brighter and uh, shinier than it really is. So now I have created a snow bank using the same technique that I did for the rest of the snow. And uh, it's exactly the same technique that I used yesterday's, on yesterday's card. So I have covered it up with uh, some uh, glimmer dust by Nuvo. And now at the back I'm going to add a little bit of uh, foam tip and stick it at the bottom of my little scene. So this way I have a ground where I can stick the house on top. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. And now I'm going to stick everything else that I have by using some tape at the back. So that I have a little bit of dimension. Now this tape that I am using is by Scotch and it's not too thick as you can see here. Which means that although I add dim dimension to my cards, they are not uh, end up very bulky and you can easily mail them as they are. And my little scene is pretty much finished. My little fairy has her wand. And now I'm going to do some uh, stardust that the little fairy is leaving behind. So I have those tiny little stars. These are iridescent and I am going to use my glue pen. So this is the fine tip, the Nuvo glue pen with a fine tip. And uh, then I am going to stick one by one all those stars. And here is the finished panel. I am going to stick that on top of a dark blue card that's four and a quarter by five and a half but first I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the inside of the card so I'm using my powder tool there just to make sure that uh, the embossing powder is going to stick only where it's supposed to I am uh, applying some Versa marking and I'm stamping my sentiment now I am going to apply my white embossing powder in the Frosty Fairy Friends stamp set by Lone Phone, there are uh, many little words that you can mix and match to create your own uh, sentiment. So I went with Magical Christmas. I'm going to use my heat gun to heat set everything. And now just because this is a card that I'm going to send to a little girl, I decided to stamp those little fairies and uh, keep them uncolored so that I can uh, send them to her. This way when she opens the cards, she gets a little treat all those fairies so she can use them to play and color. So I have created a little pocket by using one of my Simon Says Stamp dies, but uh, you can use uh, pretty much anything to create a little pocket uh, on the inside of your card. And even if you have a tiny little envelope or a pocket in your stash, just use a ready-made one. So I'm using some uh, strong adhesive to make sure that everything is uh, nicely stuck there. And now at the back I'm going to add even more glue and stick it just underneath the sentiment. And now that the pocket is in place I can fill in the pocket with my little fairies. And I think this is a really cute idea when you send uh, cards to little kids because they will have the ability to play with the images that they see and love on the outside of your card. 
So I'm going to add uh, some foam tip at the back of this panel and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base. And that was the magical card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another card featuring lone phone stamps. Thank you all for watching!